What are you allowed to bring into Canada? What is not allowed? Probably better. Cannabis, food, plants, animals. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like it either, okay? I'm gonna throw away my beloved citrus. I'm getting oranges today. You are not. I am. You are not. I'm smuggling them in. <laughs> I'm smuggling them in. Welcome to Virginia. Mango's at a rest stop. <laughs> Thank you. So we're filling the RV and you're filling the Berkey. Yeah. You're giving me water, I'm making it good. Look, this guy follows KYD. He's honking. And to make things terrible, we got a trash bag on the side. We're not we're not showing up very great, okay? This is fantastic. I need to learn like the morning. Instead of going through Vermont or New Hampshire, we go through New York to get to Quebec. I break for brisket. Oh yeah, baby. They have brisket? They got brisket, they got beavers, they got bathrooms. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Wow. I feel like we're boating in a busy marina. Yes. Isn't that what it feels like? So we're in some famous uh Bucky's beef jerky. And then it's like it's really busy. You made it. Okay. It's craziness out here. Do you remember video of like the first Black Friday shopping, you know, the day after Thanksgiving ever? Yeah. And people were like, just yeah, like. Yeah, 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 getting in fights. Just crazy. Where That's people... what it's like in there, except everyone has manners. <laughs> you can help? Do you need something? Here you go, baby. You need something over here? People are nice, but it's chaos. Chaos. Well, that's kind of what it is out here. I've only heard one person honk. Yeah. And look at, there's people going everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Korean barbecue. Mm. Oh yeah, that smells good. Here you go. Oh, it's your acting better. Did this guy cut us off? He's gonna beat us to the Cracker Barrel? Nope. Not today, buddy. Not today. I'm gonna butter your biscuit. I'm gonna scramble your eggs. <laughs> Oh, you son of a gun. Unbelievable. Son of a gun. Son of a biscuit. Oh. Kill him. Fire up the old compressor. We were gonna we might need it. Don't you accidentally <laughs> do not accidentally Okay. It's a bunch of vans that we're around here. It is a lot of vans. One, two, three, four vans. Here's more over here. Why don't you park right over here, Trish? And then you can parallel up with the with the grass. And we'll and we'll get we'll get we'll get here, going first thing in the morning. How about I go over there? Why? I kind of like it here with the grass. Yeah, this is perfect. And then we don't have the freeway. See? Yeah. Okay. And we got trouble. Yeah, I just need to make sure I don't bump into that guy. Well, he'll move when you hit him. Hi, Charlie. Hey, listen, Cracker Barrel for the win. I just ordered breakfast online. Boom, boom, boom. It'll be ready in 15 minutes and we're gonna roll out of here. Mm -hmm. Can you walk the dog? I can. Get Caleb up. Okay. Today's agenda. We gotta drop off. We gotta mail out those boxes. We have some Amazon returns that we didn't complete when we were at home. So, stop off at a US post office before we cross the border. Yeah. I would like to cross the border. No, we're not doing that. It's 10 hours just to, just to Littleton. Call that, call that 12 with traffic. That's not happening. We'll make it as far as we can so we can cross tomorrow. That's a good deal. I feel like I'm negotiating with a terrorist.
I-95 closed. Hey there, we're Harvest Host members and we were wondering if we can eat dinner with you and stay to, uh, stay tonight. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Just, um, you could just do everything online. Um, oh, okay. However I, that works, but yeah. Wow, this place does not look like it's closing in one hour. No, it sure doesn't. Maybe they have extended hours in the summer. Is this it? It is it. I think they're just opening. Oh, they have trivia every Tuesday night. <gasps> is it? Oh, it's Monday. They got, they got <laughs> All right, Trish got us all the way up north of Schenectady, Albany. We're like, we're crossing the border tomorrow. Trish, we gotta find a place, we gotta find an orange stand. So we found this Harvest Host that serves dinner. And I think they normally have lots of space, but there's a volleyball tournament going on tonight and there's no parking spot. So we just kinda, just kinda parked over here on the grass, unlevel in the corner, and then we'll just go have dinner and we'll see how things shake out in about an hour and a half. I think it'll probably be fine. Weather's perfect. We need a little water though. We've got five gallons in the back of the truck and we need maybe a couple more. All right. That's Jimmy. Yeah, that's Jimmy. That's Jimmy, it's Jimmy's first day. I said to Jimmy, do you know what Harvest Host is? And he says, no. I said, well, let me tell you. Have a seat. Um, their wings are really good. We have really good food. Though, really? Wings? Like, okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's I'm good. trying to decide between the jambalaya and the marsala. Um, I've never had either of those things. The jambalaya could be fun. It sounds cool. <laughs> Jimmy, you're gonna do all right here. Gonna you're gonna do good. Right? You're gonna do I think, good. I think, I think I'm doing the wings. You're gonna do wings. Sound amazing. Okay. How many wings do you think? How many are there? Uh, I'd say there's 112. I, th I think it's 10. Okay. You're gonna need two wings. <laughs> I think we do two tens. Okay. I think there's two, two wings. wings. But it's a great location. Lots of like, I mean, there's a lot of cars here right now. There's volleyball going on. The food was good. The burger was great. The wings were good. So far, so good. Hey, Caleb, wait. Hey, yeah. He's. Uh, hey, you need anything hey, downstairs? Hey, we need... No, I'm good. Hey, I do need something downstairs. I need something upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah, can you... Um, we need to get the water in the tank. And then we need to go see oh, if there's a spigot. That's in the basement. <laughs> it just never ends. Hey, Caleb. Um, it's tiring going on these stairs. It is. Can uh, and can you go... And then after you fill it, can you find out where we can fill the fresh water? I'm sure there's a spigot on this okay, property. That's... Okay, that's... <laughs> okay. I'm excited to use this. I am too. I was excited the first time and then it, and okay, then it here. spoiled. Throw that in there. Oh, it could have not fit. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's see it pump out first. Oh, Ooh. it's great. And watch this, it has a clip. It so has it a clip. In. It has a clip. Wow. America. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. You ready? That's fantastic. And it has a clip. Fantastic. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Not having to lift and hold that five gallon jug. It's been great. Is it going fast though? It is going Real fast. fast. It has really? a clip. So even if it wasn't, we got time. Oh, it has a clip. It has so a clip. So you could just, yeah, you just clip it right under the side of the tank. Wow. Or on the tank, because on the thread. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here's the thing. Um, I need to go find a water spigot. So you want to go for a walk with me? We found a place to fill up. No hose, which is great because it doesn't taste like cold water. Um, it's 8.51. All right, it's 8.51. Volleyball is going strong. More people are coming in. Here's my advice. This is a great location. If you have a van, primo. If you happen to take up 55 feet of parking spaces, I might suggest calling in advance and finding out if there's a volleyball happening this uh, <laughs> when you come in because it's Monday night, okay? It's not almost nine o'clock. They're going strong. They've, they've, they found the light switch on the courts. I don't know what that means, but I know more people are coming in. They're parking. I might be leveling right here. This is where we might be staying. Yeah, I think so. Hello? 
know, sometimes water really hard to find. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's really hard. So I've definitely refilled that five gallon tank so I put it back so we know we've got our gas, we've got our diesel, we've got our water. It's just an amazing peace of mind. But we're headed to a KOA, right Trish? We're headed to a KOA In so Quebec that we City? can be, yeah, 30 minutes, 30 minutes from all the main stuff. 30 minutes from all the main stuff. Trish, we're gonna share more of our route so that those that live in Canada are saying, you're missing it, why are you driving right by? We got, there's a plan, there is a method to the madness. Well, a little Trish bit, a Trish little bit of a method. What it is we are going to do together, well, I'm going to teach you the basic French, okay, from numbers to colors to month of the year, but I'm going to go much deeper, which means that that this series has 45 lessons. Hopefully, well, we got eventually, three hours and 36 we'll minutes, so speak French. there's that. I mean, by the very beginning, by introducing ourselves, okay, we can say bonjour. Bonjour. Can you say that? Bonjour. 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 And obviously, bonjour is hello. And we know that. Okay. Really? Yeah. All right, America, we'll see you soon. What's Woo! Nexus? Hi, how's it going? Good. Right there are our passports. Oh, here? Yep. In the peak bag. Sorry. Hello, um, we're wondering if we can stay with you tonight and tomorrow night. Okay, there we go. Your destination is on the left. Yes, it is. All right, you did it again. Good job. Can we get a round of applause? We have quick? made it to the COA. That's what they called it. The, the COA. COA. They said, have you ever stayed at a COA before? Have you ever been to a COA camping before? No, I guess not when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Starting to see some differences in the check-in process. Caleb, can we have the trash bag? Caleb took the trash bag. We were given a trash bag. I mean, look at this. Never received one of these before, so that we can put our trash um, in those bins on our way out. Obviously, we received one of these. Then I received the receipt. <laughs> I think we'll be keeping a log. So well, with the exchange rate, we need to do a little math but I think it would be probably helpful if we included a little, like we did in Alaska. A lot of people ask us to keep track of where we stay and how much we stay, and we feel like it's kind of spontaneous and random and not very relevant, because you could be kind of going anywhere through like the Midwest and the Southeast and the Southwest and things like this. But when it comes to Alaska or Nova Scotia, somewhere where people are like, oh, I'm gonna go there, I think we all kind of like to follow the same type of path, do the same types of things. We've received emails, are you going to the Cabot Trail? Are you going to the PEI? Did I get those names right? Yeah. Cool. So um, so in this case, I feel like it's important to kind of say, this is our route, and this is what fuel costs, and this is what you know lodging costs, so we do that. I feel an Excel sheet coming. An Excel sheet is coming. Oh, oh some big rigs here. Huh? Got a Prevo. Wow. Got a Bounder. Ooh. Got a fifth wheel. Okay, can you pull forward just just on that block? I'll tell you when to stop. Pull forward on the yeah. block? Hold the camera <laughs> and roll forward. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I have to give it gas, wait. Just a little gas. A little gas. There roll. you go, stop. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, wow! Yeah. Tell me that's not addictive, huh? <laughs> tell me that's not addictive. Someone said they want Put the parking brake on. a compilation of you I Level think that whoever break. said we need to create a compilation of, of Mark and Level Mate Pro. Ah, what a great idea. Good boy, Charlie. Okay, we're ready. This is our first real thing that we're doing in Quebec City. Well, actually, that's not true. We went out to dinner last night and it was. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um, I don't know the words. It was so good. 
we're gonna really get the lay of the land. We're gonna see all the beautiful buildings and we're doing a walking food tour. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh, teleportation. Bonjour. I want to get over. You can still get over. Oh, is that a parking? Are they parked? This is the Fairmount La Chateau Frontenac, built in 1893 and known to be the most photographed hotel in the world, for obvious reasons as it's perched on a hilltop overlooking the St. Lawrence River, located in Old Quebec, where our food tour started. And they have macarons. <laughs> when we first land in a new city that has a lot to offer, we like to book a tour. This way we get the lay of the land from the start of our visit and learn the history that brings a destination to life. Chateau Quebec was a good name. Do you know what it means? It means where the river narrows. So if you ever go like on the Orleans Island on the west tip and you look at the river where Quebec City is located, it really goes like that. So Quebec was a good name. How do you make a walking tour even better? Add food. We love food tours as they tend to be a little more intimate and you get to know the other people on the tour and learn from their itineraries too. It can also be a nice balance of information and a mental break or a pause to enjoy the local food. All the restaurants we visited were great in their own right, but there was one that stood out. Check out Bee Club when you visit Quebec City. It's a 200 year old building. Yeah, check this, out. In the bed. Oh. this is their modern touch, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. This is the yeah, bee. Mac and cheese. You have to come and visit the bee club. Thank you. I'm about to have a macaron, so I'm happy either and way. And the bacon was just perfect. Oh, I tasted the bacon. The bacon, the bacon was good. I could have bought that by like the pound. I it was know. amazing. Amazing. I guess that's how you really, buy Really, really good. But still. And the food has to be good here because it's kind of off the beaten path. So they don't just get people wandering into the, into the uh, restaurant. But often that's why Trisha actually looks for restaurants off the beaten path because she knows that those are the ones that, that. Those are the good ones. Those are the good ones. This visit to Quebec was just an appetizer, and we'll visit again on our way out before going to Montreal and hopefully Ottawa, maybe even the greater Toronto area if we have time. Let's go take the funicular. It's straight up. I mean, if we have any suggestions, it's take the stairs down, take the funicular up. <laughs> so, but then after that, we're gonna grab our car and truck, huge, big, parked it at the resort. Yeah. And um, we're gonna go over to this winery that Scott and Gail told us about. And they have ice cream, mm. wine, a restaurant, and I guess these little chickens, they're little white snowballs, super cute. Okay, you guys use the monorail. I'll do the stairs, we'll race. We'll right. see you get to the top, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, that'll save me five bucks. <laughs> Going up. Why, by your man, see, where's Caleb? I don't know. I think we're gonna beat him. I think we're gonna beat him. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. No way. No way. No way. How did you do that? How did you even do that? Dude. Call the taxi. Dude, where were the stairs even? Everywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's go find out how big of a mistake it was to park at the Fairmont. Yeah. That parking situation worked out swimmingly. Swimmingly. We got a little lucky, I must say, with the just the right valet guys, but I don't think, just as a heads up, I don't think that this is a... Allowed. Repeatable situation. There's really no one in there to ask. Oh, really? Well, I'll just find a place to park then, and I'll meet you. Okay. okay. This gentleman here just got a parking ticket, even though he paid for parking right here. Probably has something to do with that sign, so I don't think I should park here. If you recall, I got a parking ticket in Montreal. 
you know, at some point you gotta ask yourself, how much is the parking ticket and how much is the parking fee? Uh, next up on our architectural parking tour is a building up here with a spire at the top. Uh, this spire uh, was uh, constructed at some point in time and here we are back on the same street that we left from. Wow. In a circle. Maybe yeah, we made it. Good idea. Thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> yeah, it it works. Let's hear it. Should I give him a little toot on the way out? <laughs> Head southeast on Rue de Carrier. Head southeast on Rue de Carrier toward Rue Mont Carmel. Then yes, turn right. Yes.